Hi, welcome to Grade 11 Communications Technology. In this course, you will learn the power of conveying a message by combining it with the power of technology. Over the course of this video, I will show you the steps that it takes to produce a good quality video. Also, we'll have a bit of a behind the scenes project as well. We'll start with our pre-production. To start pre-production, we must convey an idea for our video. Generally, in this course, the teacher tasks us with creating a specific type of video. Whether it be a 60 second lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Google Play Music, a top five video. I'm here to tell you the top five best selling PC games of all time or a contest piece for to work safe because it's your job. You are given a topic and you must convey an epic idea based upon it. Now we create the script for a video. This will determine how the video flows and what we need to say at specific moments in time. Now that we have our script, we can move on to the actual production of the video itself. This can be a little tricky as now we need to choose the type of studio we need for our specific purpose. Welcome to CyberDog Studios. This is where the magic happens. Well, actually it's just another part of the classroom, but nevertheless the magic happens here. We're going to take a look at the various types of studios and what benefits they can bring to your production. So let's start with the white screen. This is the white screen studio. With this studio, you get many benefits. Here, you can be very informative and to the point. Editing this footage can also be very simple. It's also great for when you need to read off a teleprompter. Now, let's move over to the green screen. Here we have the green screen. This has a great benefit of being able to superimpose yourself in almost anything or anywhere. But first, we have some things we have to do. Good, and now we add a green screen key. Great, and now I can put myself in almost any situation I want, like Toronto, or in the desert. There's a lot you can do with the green screen, but there's one more type of screen that we generally use. So let's move over to the infinite white screen. Here we are in the infinite white screen studio. In this studio, I can create the illusion of being in an infinite white wonderland, when really there's a finite limit to this studio. See? This is great for when you want to move your subject around in various positions. It's also great for texture B-roll, as again, you can move your subject around in various positions. Now that we have gone through the basics of production, we now have to go through the process of post-production. So let's hop back to the computers. Familiar sight? We're back here because now that we're done our production, we have to move into post-production so we can start editing our footage. Primarily in this class, we use Adobe Premiere Elements 12. So let's take a look at the editing process itself. You can spend hours editing footage, but at some point you're going to have to stop and hand in a final product. What you're watching now is the final product that I have edited. And with this final product, we can then unleash it to a whole new world of viewers by the power of YouTube. Communications technology is a lot of fun, but don't just take my word for it. Let's see what others have to say and if they'll progress through to grade 12, CompTech. What do you like about communications technology? I like how you've got lots of stuff to do. We have a green screen studio, we've got a white screen studio, we've got an infinite white studio, a whole bunch of computers. There's just a plen plenty of free time to do what you want and finish all the projects. So, yeah, I like that. I like that we get to use all the equipment to make content and we get to make videos with our friends. I like, I like how we can all use a computer and we all have free roam of Adobe Premiere and we can all use a DSLR camera. We have an awesome studio to use and we pretty much have free roam of whatever we want to do. For example, we can use the green screen studio to film whatever content we want and I think that's great. What is your favorite thing to do in the course? I would say I like doing special effects and green screen stuff, more the editing and not really the filming. I like how things turn out at the end. I like to make videos and I like to do projects where we're all involved together. Probably screw around on Reddit, to be honest. But otherwise, I love filming and making videos with meaningful content and using the green screen studio is great. What project were you most proud of? my operation conservation. I think I did a pretty good job on the typography, so I'm happy with that. It's also kinetic typography, so I'm really proud of that. I liked my Remembrance Day project, where we got to film the Remembrance Day, and I got to use a mixer to control what everyone saw. I would have to say my green screen project, because Mr. May said it was good. 
Will you do the course again next year? Definitely. It's, it's a really fun course. Probably not, because I don't think I have room for it, but I would like to. Most likely, if I have room, I've had lots of fun, so... People love this course, there's no doubt. But... Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. People love doing this course, there's no doubt. But how does the teacher like doing this course? Let's find that out, and also, let's see how the course has changed over the years. How does teaching this class differ from traditional classes like English or math? This class is different from traditional classes like math or English. This is very much a production course. Instead of being a consumer and reflecting on the work of others, you are creating your own uh, work that other people will look at and they'll reflect on you. So it's different. You're making stuff. It's a class to make stuff. Do you enjoy teaching this? I love teaching this course. This is a gas. This is a lot of fun. I learn a ton from my students. We learn from each other and it's a very collaborative class because we share all the work that we do and we just keep on trying to make it better and better and better. And we get to look at the work that students have done in previous years and learn from them as well and see if we can improve or refine or take the best of what they've done in the past. So theoretically, we just get better and better every year and, and uh, yeah, I love it. It's fun. I enjoy teaching this class. Yes, very much. What is your favorite thing to teach a class? I, I have no one favorite thing to teach people. There's so much stuff to learn. There's visual, there's graphic, there's illustrative, there's animative, there's audio. Uh, my favorite thing to teach people is stuff where they go, holy frig, I didn't know I could do that. And that's my favorite stuff to teach to people because then I like to see what they can do with it. How has the teaching of this class changed over the years? The teaching of this class changes every year because the technology changes every year. We used to teach, wow, way back in the day, uh, teaching video, you would do all your editing using VHS tapes and using ridiculous funky uh, equipment. And then it went to little portable tapes, little digital video tapes, little compact things. And then it went to cards. And um, and now it's to the point where we don't even use the media to transport stuff. We send everything through the internet and through the cloud. So it is constantly evolved. Uh, everything changes. Uh, but the whole point here is that the, the, the fundamentals for making good stuff, that doesn't change. So good audio, good video, good lighting, good sound, good sound effects, good music. Uh, but the format keeps changing all the time. We're now doing everything in high def, where three years ago everything was in standard def. So that's grade 11 communications technology in a nutshell. It allows students to get creative and unleash their creativity upon the world. They are given the opportunity to create and convey powerful messages and broadcast them in a way never thought possible. So if you're ready to take the plunge and want to create meaningful content, then come on down to Communications Technology. Thanks. My interview. Take two. I don't like being in videos. It makes me very uncomfortable, but okay. So what do you like most about communications technology? <laughs> At Cyberduck Studios, we have a wide variety of studios to so I trip over my words. <laughs> what do you like about communications technology? Oh, you're just going for it, right? Oh, I thought you were... I no, you I'm, were I'm on Reddit, man. I thought about a week ago. Come um, with us in over week ago. He burped as I asked him the question. <laughs> No, it's start again. How the, 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 the. Why do you... Damn it. What do you like about communications technology? The wanker. <laughs> <laughs> In this course, you will learn how to... I'm gonna... I swear, the math is not working. Okay, yeah. right, are we filming? No. no. Okay. We yes. Filming? Yes. Metal, bottle, you're lucky. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Have the white screen, the green screen, or the what? Uh, um, I like how. What do you like? Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I could speak a good English. I looked at the camera. Fine. No, it's breaking the fourth wall. Oh my God. It's breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> No, we...